You are married. We are married. We've been secret married until this moment. <laughs> when did you get married? We got married the day before I was admitted to the hospital to undergo my bone marrow transplant. So when did you get married? It was in uh, February. Okay, this has happened, but this isn't going to interrupt the plan that we have. We have a plan. We're moving towards a plan, and this is just a bump in the road. And something like getting married can be an act of optimism, an act of declaration, an act of we have a future. Yes, it's an act of defiance. The darkness will try to overtake you. But just turn on the light. Focus on the light. Hold on to the light. Not bad. Not bad. Off the top of his head. <laughs> what was involved in the decision? We have known that we wanted to get married, I think, uh, from the first week that we started dating. That's when John first brought up the topic of marriage to me. Uh, so we've had eight years. This is not, you know, a hasty decision. <laughs> Um, not running off to Vegas. No, we're not <laughs> running off to Vegas. Um, and, uh, you know, when I got my diagnosis, I told you I'd planned this special birthday weekend, but it turned out John had had multi-month plans in the making to propose to me. Um, and when he did, he said to me, I just want to be very clear, I'm not proposing to you because of this diagnosis. It's taken me a year to design your ring. So just know this timing has nothing to do with it. But what I do want you to know is that this diagnosis doesn't change anything. It just makes it all the clearer to me that I want to commit to this and for us to be together. But once we realized we had this tiny window uh, before the bone marrow transplant, we decided to go for it. And um, thanks to a friend, we were able to arrange to get a marriage license at the very last minute while I was in the EOR, getting uh, a catheter placed into my chest. Um, and it was absurd. There were nurses around, there were surgeons around. Uh, we had this computer, I was in a hospital gown, but we made it happen. And that night we went and bought our wedding outfits together a very last minute, lots of laughter, uh, but it was, you know, not anything like what we'd imagined. There were maybe four people present. Um, it was private, it was tiny, and it was perfect. And I'll tell you, we walked into that bone marrow transplant unit on cloud nine. We were so happy so brimming with love and positivity from this beautiful evening that we'd had. And I really believe that that carried us through. Um, that sense of community, that sense of love, that sense of joy and spontaneity uh, were so important. That's such an uncommon sentence to hear. We walked into that bone marrow transplant on cloud nine. Not a sentence I ever thought I would utter. <laughs>